All right, check this out. I just got this project done. I did a video a little while ago on YouTube where I was just kind of half finished with it and cleaning the edges of the uh, screened in porch. But I'm finished now, so y'all welcome to my new uh, rain resistant back porch. We have a screened in porch, it's about 28 feet long, and I had this vision and I love it when my ideas come together and they actually work and it looks good so we've always had problem with rain coming in on our back porch and we've just kind of used it for a shed because I mean the weather it was just when it rained it was just terrible so I got this idea to uh, we went to Lowe's and we bought this cable and some eye bolts so our porch is 28 feet long uh, the cable for about uh, shy of $11 it was 30 feet um, so I think $11 for the cable was pretty good I ordered all of these shower curtains off of Amazon um, and the shower curtains I got separate but they kind of look like the ones that come in the shower curtains at Dollar Tree so if you could find clear shower curtains at Dollar Tree you could probably really save some money. Shower curtains were but about three dollars a piece, and I have two sections. I mean, uh, two shower curtains per section, and there are one, two, four sections. So I had to buy eight shower curtains, and you can hear the rain coming down now, hitting the gutters out there um, under our uh, lawn shed raining pretty good here so I figured it's raining today what better time to do this and test it out so when they're closed I can still see out and see our beautiful property back there um, and all my fruit trees and our garden that we've been working on and while I was doing this I didn't expect it but what was pretty cool was the magnets at the bottom if you happen to get shower curtains with magnets It'll hold together at the bottom. Now, I discovered when I was first doing this that some of the magnets were turned around backwards, so it had like the polarity, um, you know, they were resisting each other. So what I had to do was flip the magnets around to get them all to work, so that's what I did. And up at the tops, between each section, halfway, we put an eye bolt, so that on a beautiful day, we can just pull all this back, like so. And on the other side, pull it back. And then secure it. I haven't figured out how I'm going to secure it in the middle yet. But um, I'm extremely pleased how this turned out. So anyone who's ever wondered what they can do with their situation, um, about staying dry on the back porch, but yet they still love the screen part. That's another option you could try. So thank you all for watching, and um, sorry for the duplication, but I wanted to show in a little more detail my finished project, especially since I discovered that those little magnets on the bottom, they just attach right to each other. I just thought that was so cool. I didn't even think about that when I was putting it all together. So just an added bonus. Later on, I might go back and um, everything is aluminum on our porch. The bottom section is all aluminum so the magnets won't stick to the aluminum because I know when the wind blows, uh, it's going to kind of make them bellow out. So what I'm thinking about doing is I have a whole bunch of these little magnets off of old shower curtains I've kept along the years. Maybe gluing some magnets to the actual aluminum and then um, it would stay. I wish that was steel, but no, all the trim, all the white, it's aluminum. So, once again, thank y'all for watching, and who knows what else I'll get into.